Hola amigos, today we are doing a mega Spanish test. I mean, in the past we did tests with five or 10 questions, but today we are entering Las Grandes Ligas. 50 questions testing your Spanish skills. Es un mega reto. Speed is important in this quiz too. We'll go fast. So make sure you're not distracted and I will let you know the answers at the end of each section. So you're ready to check your answers right away. Ready, set, go. Here is your first question. Guess the article. El or la. Mesa. Agua. Lunes. Estación. Planeta. The answers are la mesa, el agua, el lunes, la estación, el planeta. So how are you doing? If after this part of the test you feel you need to revisit the articles, make sure to watch my video about it where I give you a simple trick to memorize them and the link is in the description. Let's go for section number two. Guess between por o para. Blank, tu culpa, no tengo dinero. Este regalo es blank, mi mamá. Blank. Ti, ¿qué significa ser amable? Hago ejercicio, blank, estar saludable. Tuvo que mudarse, blank, trabajo. Ok, so the answers are, por tu culpa no tengo dinero. Este regalo es para mi mamá. Para ti, ¿qué significa ser amable? Hago ejercicio para estar saludable. Tuvo que mudarse por trabajo. ¿Difícil? Espera, ¿eh? Solo estamos calentando. Now, continuemos. Ok, part 3, get the right preposition. In this section, check out first the translation in English. It will give you a hint about which preposition to use in Spanish. 11. El regalo está la mesa. 12. Mi cartera está de la cama. 13. La escuela está las calles de Reforma e Insurgentes. 14. Mi casa está de la tuya. 15. Mira arriba. El cielo está hermoso. Ok, so the answers are, el regalo está en o sobre la mesa. If you got any of those two, you're correct. Mi cartera está debajo de la cama. La escuela está entre las calles de Reforma e Insurgentes. Mi casa está detrás de la tuya. Mira hacia arriba. El cielo está hermoso. ¿Cómo vamos? You can do it, guys. So, parte 4, vocabulario. In the following part, there is no perfect answer, so I will ask you for names of some items. You can write down your answers, and then I will share some examples of what I meant. At the end of this section, you can share your answers in the comments, so you can compare them with other students. You may pause this video between questions to write your answers as well. So, número 16, menciona tres partes del cuerpo. Pause the video. Por ejemplo, cabeza, cuerpo, piernas, brazos. Número 17, menciona tres profesiones. Pause the video. Por ejemplo, abogado, secretaria, doctor. Número 18, menciona tres deportes que se juegan con pelota. Pause the video. Por ejemplo, baloncesto, tenis y fútbol. Número 19. Menciona tres habitaciones de la casa. Pause the video. Por ejemplo, sala, comedor y cocina. 
Y número 20, menciona tres artículos de ropa. Post de vídeo. Por ejemplo, camisa, zapatos y pantalones. Uf, that was a good one. How is your brain doing? Let's continue with the next part. Parte 5, guess the translation. I'm going to give you three options. You gotta choose one, okay? So, 21, la neta, in Mexico, means one, whipped cream, two, grandma, or three, the truth. 22, malcriado, means One, boy, two, newborn, or three, spoiled. Me duele la cabeza means one, my head is cool, two, I am crazy, or three, I have a headache. Número 24, tengo hambre means one, I have food, Two, I am hungry, or three, I have a man. <laughs> Número 25, me siento bien, means one, I feel good, two, I smell good, or three, I am sensitive. Ya vas a la mitad del quiz. Felicidades. It is a good moment to tell you that it will get harder. So, if you made it through here, let me know in the comments below using a smiley face. Part 6, fill in the chunk. If you have been watching our videos, this part should be easy for you. And for those in the Spring Spanish Inner Circle, you even have access to the flashcards after each one of our videos. So let's test your memory. I will give you a blank space and you can help yourself with the translation to figure out which chunk you will have to use. And then I will give you the answer straight away. Vamos a darle. 26, blank. ¿Cómo estás? Answer is, es un placer conocerte. ¿Cómo estás? 27, bueno. Blank. Bueno, adivina qué. 28. Blank. Me llamo Juan. Mucho gusto. ¿Cómo te llamas? Me llamo Juan. Mucho gusto. 29. Blank. Soy profesora de español. ¿A qué te dedicas? Soy profesora de español. 30. Uf, ¿no te parece? Hace calor, ¿no te parece? How did you do in this part? By the way, this flashcard came from our essential Spanish chunking kit. They are essential chunks you will hear and even use yourself in any Spanish conversations. To download that free kit with a list of all these chunks that you just heard, check the link in the description. Now let's go to part seven, translation. In this part, you will have the English phrase and choose the correct Spanish translation from three options. 31. See you later means 1. Hasta mañana 2. Hasta pronto o 3. Nos vemos Treinta y dos Date someone means Salir a la calle Salir con nadie o salir con alguien Treinta y tres Do you speak English? Means, ¿hablas inglés? Soy inglés, yo hablo inglés. 34. Where are you from? Means, ¿dónde estás? ¿De dónde eres? O ¿Dónde vas? 35. Can you help me? Means, 
¿Necesitas ayuda? Ayúdame, por favor. ¿Podrías ayudarme? Great job, amigos. Now we will work with some images. You will have the picture on the screen and three options to choose from to get the correct name of the item. They are very easy, so I expect you to have them all right. Let's do it. Part A, vocabulary by image. Bolígrafo, lápiz, marcador. El gato, el león, el perro. La taza, la licuadora, el vaso. La falda, el vestido, la blusa. La puerta, la entrada, la ventana. Guys, if you made it up to here, now be ready because now we're going to test you your slang knowledge. Part 9, Spanish slang. Recently, I had four famous YouTubers teaching me and you some slang from Spain. I gathered five phrases from there and let's see how many of them you can guess right. So let's go to question number 41. Es un currante means a posh person, a hardworking person, or an annoying person. Cuarenta y dos, me mola, means I like it, looks like a mole, I agree. Cuarenta y tres, boca chancla, means a fish, a big sandal, or a person that likes to tell secrets. 44, no tengo pasta, means I ran out of pasta, I don't have money, or I need food. 45, eres un rollo, that means you're very boring, you're fat, or you're a storyteller. If you didn't guess any of them, no worries, mis amigos. Feel free to check out the video with these YouTubers where you will find out these phrases and more slang from Spain. Part 10, Mexican slang. And of course, I saved the best for the end. I will test your knowledge of Mexican slang. And let's see how you do with the next five questions of this mega quiz. 46, ya merito. That means I will be right here, almost there, or already here. 47, ahorita vengo, means I'll be there now, not yet, or I will be back soon. 48, estar hasta las chanclas. Number one, being drunk, standing on your head, or being able to touch your feet. 49. Echar los perros. That means a dog attack, being beaten by a dog, or flirt with a girl. 50. Está chido. That means it's cool, it's dark, or it's crazy. So how many did you get right? Let me know in the comments. And if you'd like to improve your score, I recommend you start watching our Spanish from scratch lessons where we teach you all the basic vocab and grammar covered in this test. And obviously it's for free. So click the link on screen to start with lesson one right now and adios.